Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercom Media back with another Dokkan battle video and today we are doing another run of the legendary Goku event mainly to see how well this guy, the new physical Broly or at least old Broly with a new Extreme Z Awakening on global can perform here and you know what before we start the run before we start the gameplay I'm gonna just make a bold prediction and say that he's gonna be very very good here and the reason I say that if you guys don't know is because he raises attack and defense every single time he supers but not only that he can get two guaranteed supers per turn with his passive and you can get up to three supers with some hidden potential investment and he also gets more crit chance up to 40% with every single attack so this guy was basically made for the legendary Goku event and other events like it so uh, we should definitely see some pretty good things from him in today's video and without further ado guys let's jump in this guy will have the honors of performing the first super of the run so let's give him some orbs and see what he can do okay so before we do any attacks he is currently at 28,640 defense which of course is absolutely awful but as you guys know as i said he does get more and more tanky with every attack so it should be a lot higher later on so first super over a million second super as you can see the attacks that did go up to 1.1 million now and we get a third super all right no third super but still, three attacks in a row, taking double digit damage for normals already. Pretty good sign, right? Pretty, pretty good sign. I'm feeling pretty good about this run already. And uh, the final stage of this event, if you guys remember, is MUI Goku, who is a int type unit. And since the Broly is physical, we should be good to go there too. He should absolutely annihilate the final stage. All right, so now we have two Vegetas and a Goku, I think. I'm going to keep Goku at the end so he doesn't stack attack or doesn't stack defense until he transforms to Super Saiyan. So uh, let's keep the transforming Vegeta in front. And then we can also get a super off with the physical Vegeta if he doesn't... Yeah, if the Goku doesn't die to the first super here. Alright, we're getting supered. This could definitely hurt. We haven't built up a lot of defense yet. Yeah, 100,000. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Um, damn. You know what? Even though that hurt, uh, this does allow us to get closer to our Namek Goku getting a transformation, so I'm not too mad about it. Obviously, I would prefer to not take that much damage, but it could be worse. It could be worse. Okay, so Broly's defense is now at 40,000. Still not great, but definitely better than before. Uh, I'm not going to let him tank that first attack in the front, so we're going to let Transforming Vegeta do that. And then Broly's going to super in the middle, and then, oh my god, we cannot get a super with SSBE, but as long as the final, oh yeah, okay, I was going to say, as long as the final attack's not a super, we should be okay. Alright, so we're taking another 100,000, which, <laughs> holy crap, uh, I might have to use an item early, guys. And don't judge me if I do, alright, I, I try to not bring too many like crazy defensive units. I try to not bring too many like infinite stackers because I feel like it takes away some of the challenge. So for today's run, um, I only brought like three, I think, infinite stackers in, in the on the team. I think, I think, I could be wrong. Uh, we got both Vegetas, the, the transforming Vegetas. We got um, the physical Broly. Oh, and also we brought the physical Vegeta, like the, the one from the Saiyan Saga, right? So, that's four. Oh, also Namek Goku also stacks infinitely. Okay, so we brought five units. Never mind. <laughs> I take that back. I take that back. But you know what? These guys are not super tanky yet, which is why we're taking a lot of damage. And um, I'm a little bit worried, guys. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so we're going to let him super. And then he can also super easily. And as long as the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku supers... Um, he becomes actually really, really tanky too. If he doesn't super, he is absolute garbage at tanking. But after he supers, he actually is like one of the better non-infinite stackers in the game for tanking damage and supers and stuff like that. So uh, he's actually pretty effective here. Just make sure, make sure you don't put him in front of any um, like attacks before he gets the super himself because that will be a bad time for you. Yo, we got the transformation. Nice. Yo, Namek Goku? I gotta say, still the best transformation animation in the entire game. And I'm saying that with the knowledge 
uh, with you know the uh, str transforming cooler in the game now knowing that he exists and the transformation animation exists with his active skill i know that's the thing but i gotta say I still think that Namek Goku has slightly better, he still takes the cake, he still has a slight edge as far as transformation animations go. And that's just me, I know some people are going to disagree and that's totally cool, alright, that's fine. Don't get too upset if you guys are big fans of the new Cooler's animation because as I've said, man, I love the Cooler's animations, it's just, I think the Goku is still more iconic, right? That like him transforming into Super Saiyan for the first time is basically the most iconic moment in the entire franchise so even though cooler's animation like when he transforms is just super slick it's absolutely beautiful ah, man, i still gotta give the edge to the goku man but that's just me that's just me if you guys disagree that's totally cool no problem all right broly's now up to 1.23 million attack for a super getting a lot of crits because he's building up that crit chance every single time we get another crit there we go, double crit. All right, <laughs> Yo, this is going really well, man. Now we're not getting triple supers yet, but uh, that should happen eventually. But either way, two supers per turn guaranteed is still crazy, guys. It's still mad, mad OP. And every single super doing over a million means that he's getting like over two million attack from the beginning and it only goes up from there so by the end I'm I'm gonna say he's gonna be up to like 1.5 somewhere between 1.5 to 2 million per super and you multiply that by potentially three supers the amount of damage this guy's gonna be outputting is it's just gonna be nuts man okay so it looks like um, we gotta go with this because transforming Vegeta is not gonna super in the front which we don't want so let's go with this hopefully we don't get supered um, because physical Vegeta, base Vegeta is still not very good at tanking yet. We still need a few more supers for him to get over 100,000, at which, at which time he'll be pretty good. But right now, yeah, still taking normals for 16k, guys. Okay. Okay. That's fine. We're doing fine. Okay, 49. Alright, so we're taking normals for double digits now. Um, you know what, that's gonna change for the next stage, though, since Goku does... You know, hit harder with every single run or every single transformation, right? Uh, we're currently at the Super Saiyan. Oh, no, I was gonna say, yo, why, why is Vegeta transforming? <laughs> All right, so now we're at Super Saiyan three. Um, Broly is up to sixty-three thousand defense. I'm gonna put Goku at the back here. Like I said, as long as he supers, his tanking is just fine. And can we get a super off with this Vegeta? Uh, we can, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, six, perfect. He's supering, he's supering, and Goku will also actually get, I think, a 24 key super here. Damn, look at that. All right. It's 82, 95, 1.7 million. This Vegeta is still such a freaking monster. No, I say that like he's an old unit. He's not an old unit. He's not an old unit. So, uh, yeah, just doing his thing. Doing his thing, getting additional. Yo, we're getting so many additionals with the Vegeta. I don't know how many times he's done double supers now, but it's been like at least two or three times, I think. Alright, 1.3 million guys from Broly, creating for a million. Alright, 1.34 now. Slowly climbing up, slowly getting tankier, slowly getting more attack. Another additional regular attack. We haven't gotten an additional super from the hidden potential system, but he's attacked three times at least two or three times now, right? So, um, some people have been asking me recently like how I feel like you should build the new physical Broly. Or, sorry, I keep saying new physical Broly because in my mind he's like a new unit and he kind of is, man. He's like, he's, he's changed a lot, right? But uh, still, still the same Broly, really. <laughs> and uh, I would say if you gave him like 15 crit, 11 additional before, that's totally fine. I don't think that's a mistake. I think we can leave it. I wouldn't spend the extra, you know, 10 stones or whatever to change that. But um, if you guys, you know, haven't made a decision yet and you haven't really like invested in his dupe system yet, I honestly think it actually makes more sense to give him a little bit more a little bit more additional than crit. So I would go something like 14 additional and what did I do? Like 14 additional 11 crit or something like that? Or what did I do? I'll check in a second. I think it's like 14 additional, maybe 12 crit or something to that effect. Basically a little bit more additional and a little bit less crit. You can go like 17 and nine or something like that it's totally up to you but i feel like more additional makes sense mainly because he already gets up to 40 percent crit chance on his 
um, hit it on his passive, right? And even though it still is nice to have more crit chance, I don't think it's as important as additionals because you want him to get more attacks to stack faster, potentially get three supers, and the more additional you give him in the hit a potential system, the more the higher his chance chances are of getting the third super, right? So that's just me. Um, if you guys disagree, that's totally cool. Like I said, uh, that's just my opinion. I actually haven't done any calculations. I know probably somebody out there that did the calculations and determined whether more crit and if over additional or more additional over crit makes more sense. But just based off like what I know about the game, I feel like more additional makes more sense for him. Okay, so uh, defense is not 74,000, but the Vegito has way higher defense. So we're gonna leave him in the beginning or leave him in the first slot. And you know what, he put in so much work to change those orbs, I don't want to take that away from him. So yeah, we're going to give him all those orbs, we're going to heal back to full as well, which is beautiful. And I guess this Vegeta is just not supering, okay, that's cool, that's fine, not a big deal. Taking 65, 92, uh, 75, beautiful, beautiful, and attack stat is 3.2 million, please give me a crit, make my day, come on, give me that beautiful, ah, okay. Oh, we got additional though. Wow, 3.48. Such a monster, dude. Such a monster. No, see, on the turn he transforms, uh, not only does he get crazy defense and crazy attack because of all the orbs, but you also basically get a free Senzu Bean because I think in most situations you are going to be healed back to full. So that's a really good turn for Broly. Or sorry, for, for her transforming Vegeta. All right, 1.4 mil now. And a third attack, but not a super once again. I wonder if we're at 40% now, because you need 20 attacks. I don't remember how many turns it's been. If we're not, if we're not at 40% crit on the passive, we should be pretty close. So either way, he's going to be critting a lot. Okay, 22. Okay, you know what? With type disadvantage, it's not too bad. I can live with that. I can definitely, definitely live with that. Um, what we need to be worried about right now is the physical Vegeta here, who only has 58,000 defense. So I want to make sure he supers. Um, if I do this, then the Goku can't super. So let's let's put him here and pray that the Godku does not super the Vegeta. And there we go, 18 key super with the Super Saiyan 4 Goku as well. So what I'm going to try to do is definitely if I can, no item with this run, but I can't guarantee that's gonna happen because I'd still much rather, you know, I'd still much rather survive and finish their run than try potentially risking dying. So if I feel like it gets really close, if like it's a dire situation and if it gets super, we will die, then I will use an item. But I'm gonna try my best, try my very best to not item here, all right? I still haven't done a single no item run, I know People out there are gonna call me a scrub. They're gonna be like, yo, so many other people, so many other YouTubers have done no item runs. And that's cool, man, that's good for them, but that hasn't really been my thing, you know? So if it happens, it happens, all right? If we are in the situation where it's feasible, it makes sense, then we'll go for it. But if not, then it's not gonna happen, you know? <laughs> okay, so the friend Vegeta actually transformed, I believe, and yeah, I think the friend Vegeta transformed, but you know what? I'm gonna give these orbs to my own Vegeta because I think mine has more dupes. Uh, this is the friend, right? So 170. No, this one. This is the friend that has three dupes. Mine has. Oh, mine has two dupes. Oh. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. Okay. Fine. Take the orbs. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I don't care. Oh, we're also gonna double attack. Oh, that feels like such a waste. Damn, okay. All right, well, I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Sometimes you can't avoid those token attacks. It feels like such a waste, but there's nothing I can do about it. So let's just try to get all seven of these nodes, get a perfect token attack, and finish off the god coup. All right, two, three, four, five, six. Real easy. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Let's see how much damage we do here. His attack does go up to 3.5 million, which is beautiful. Give me a crit. Just finish it here. Let's just finish it. Come on. Wow. Okay, 2.6 mil. Didn't need a crit. We did not need a crit. All right, now we're on to, I think, Blue Goku. We're making really good time. Only 15 minutes so far. 
This could be my fastest run so far. This could be my fastest run. All right. What is uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution's defense at now? 99k? Not the greatest. Not the greatest. Um, this rotation might actually run into some trouble if we get supered. Uh, should I, I don't, you know what? We're at full HP. I'm gonna risk it a little bit. I mean, normally I would use an item, but I did say something about no iteming it, so... <laughs> I might come to regret this really, like, really bad. This could be a huge mistake, not iteming there, but... Alright, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're taking a normal attack for, for, for like, single to double digit. Um, Fizz Vegeta is gonna build some more defense, even though his defense isn't super high right now. Should be over like 70, 80k at this point. Alright, still not getting supered. Perfect. SSBE, 1.2, 1.3 mil. <sighs> stressful, man. Stressful. So stress right now. Alright, just don't super me this turn. Come on. Don't super me this turn. Super the. Um. Transforming Vegeta. Oh, perfect. All right, so we're gonna go like this. Transforming Vegeta is at 179k defense. Broly is currently at 85,000 defense and a lot of attack. Uh, beautiful. Okay, so let's give him a bunch of orbs. And his defense. Oh, his attack is now at 351,000. And Broly, of course, is gonna super too. He's gonna super. Perfect. It worked out. There we go. All right, 75. 48. Awesome. 20. I don't know why I'm reading them out, it's like, you guys can't see it or something. <laughs> Alright, anyways, um, let's talk about STR transforming cooler real quick, because I know that's what a lot of people are thinking about right now, like, I know that's like the hot topic at the moment, and uh, what I'll say for sure is, he is absolutely amazing, and of course, if you guys don't know, maybe you're watching me for the first time, uh, most of the content that I do is on the global side, so most people that watch me are global players, and I've seen some global players say, telling me, yo, I'm gonna skip everything after seeing the cooler, like what he can do, and also um, how good his banner is, like how freaking insanely OP his banner is. Speaking of OP, this dude just did three supers for 1.5 million each, guys. <laughs> three supers for 1.5 mil each. Getting back to the cooler. Um, people, after seeing like how insanely OP that banner is, and how insanely awesome the cooler himself is, are telling me they're gonna skip everything in between to, um, uh, what do you call it, to, to, to save stones for the cooler, right? And what I'll say to my fellow global players is, number one, I don't blame you because he is just freaking amazing, right? He's just, he's beautiful in every single aspect. Um, great categories, great passives, beautiful transformation animations, beautiful super attack animations, and this is not a bad thing to say about him. He is like as close to a perfect non-LR Dokkan Fest unit I can think of. Um, but that being said, that being said, it's gonna be about five months or four to five months between now until the cooler banner drops on global. So do you really wanna wait that long to summon again in the game? Because to me, the most fun part of the game I mean, some events are really fun too, don't get me wrong, but the most fun part of the game is to summon, right? And you're taking away, like, <laughs> the most fun part of the game for yourself for like four to five months, same for the cooler. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad idea, I'm not saying it's wrong because he is really worth saving for, but we got the Trunks and Zamasu coming up really, really soon within the next like week or two. And we also have the thank you celebration banner. We probably have a step up banner of some kind in between as well, uh, whether for this celebration or maybe for New Year's. And we also have the Piccolo banner, the Inns Future Gohan banner, and um, Kale and Khalifla too. So there's going to be a lot of fire guys in between. And I just don't really know if it makes sense to just skip everything. I mean, at the end of the day, the decision is yours, but I would not recommend skipping. Um, especially Dual Dokkan Fest, like the Zamasu and Trunks, but that's your call, that's your call. Okay, let's focus on the gameplay here. Um, we are facing the STR Goku, which does concern me a little bit, since we do have type disadvantage here. Um, with two of the units, should I item? You know what, screw the no item run, like... <laughs> As much as I would like a no item run, I just don't feel like it's worth it 
for 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 right now. So I'm I'm gonna pop the Icarus. All right, just to be extra safe. Bad bad guys, but at, at the very least, man, I save my item usage for the you know UI Goku, the second last stage. So we've done pretty well up to this point. All right. Um, yeah, Trunks is a monster coming soon, guys. If you're watching this video sometime around the the time it's released, within like the week or so. Um, Trunks and Zamasu, it, they're, they're very close, and both of them have very good banners. Yo, look at that. Yo, if I had an item, we would've died. Or, like, been very close to death. Alright. Um, you know what? Good choice. That was a good choice. Did you just dodge my super? What a douchebag. <laughs> Alright, 1.6 mil now, and also the crit. And, uh, even, even, I know the Icarus is active, but still, taking very little damage. So he's extremely, extremely tanky now. Um, SSB has not actually had a chance to do much, but you know he's not really kind of the, he's not really the focus of this showcase. All right, he's not really the show uh, the focus of this run, so it's fine. Okay, so our transforming Goku is currently at 180,000 defense. Dude, I love this unit so much, guys. I love him so much. Alright, so we can get the 18 key super with the Super Saiyan 4 Goku as well. And he's gonna be probably doing the brunt of the damage here. Yo, why didn't I. Oh, crap, why didn't I put Transforming Goku in the middle? That would have made so much more sense. I'm stupid. You know what? Never mind. I take that back. Because the super was in the front, not the middle. If the super. If we got supered with uh, even this guy with Icarus active, uh, that could have killed us. So. Never mind. That was actually a good choice. <laughs> I take it back. I take it all back. Okay, please hit. Thank you. Oh, I should have used the active seal. Why didn't I do that? Okay, next turn. If he survives till next turn, which he probably will. Yeah, he definitely will. Uh, we're gonna pop the active skill, which I'm pretty sure can't be dodged. I think. Oh, it can't. There's no way. There's no way he dodges active skills. There's no way. Okay. So Broly's now at, at, now at 114,000 defense, and uh, since we're using items anyways, let's actually pop the Android 8 to heal up a little bit and also get some more defense. So with the Android 8 active, Broly's now at 171,000 defense, uh, transforming Vegeta's at 268,000, and uh, base Vegeta's at 192,000. Very, very nice. And can we... Well, actually, Broly gets the additional key after, right? So he's going to super regardless of what we give him here. And there we go. Okay, show me what you got, Broly. Show me what you got. 39k. Okay. 132. Oh, you know what? He, he doesn't have a... Uh, he doesn't have... Fierce Battle activated right now because the, the base Vegeta does not have Fierce Battle. All right, that's fine. 32, 32, 40... Yeah, I'm definitely worried about a super here. Uh, if he gets supered, it's still going to be a ton of damage, even with the high defense. Because this Goku just hits so damn hard. Um, normals are fine. No, no, normal normal attacks, like, do not concern me even a little bit. But it's just the supers, man. The, the looming... Um, what am I trying to say? <laughs> like, the possibility of a super is just super... Look at that! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap! Hey, you know what? At the very least, we now have the ability to pop this active skill. Let's go for it. Oh, I forgot to turn on the sound. My bad, guys. My bad. But still, just just watch this beautiful animation. Oh, dude, he's so, so nice. All right, perfect. We're getting super off there. Oh, no, I think he supers actually at every level, right? Uh, past six key or seven key. So there we go. We got two full supers and then one, you know, nine key super in the middle. All right, damn, yo! If we got hit by those normals, that <laughs> did you see that the grayed out damage is like a hundred thousand for normals? I think. I think it was a hundred thousand. Yeah, hundred thousand. Damn, dude. Okay, so the nine key super is doing one point three mil, or attack stat wise. Um, not hitting for too much, but at least we're invincible for this turn, and that is definitely a good thing. And one point seven mil for the twelve key. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I love it. Okay. We got one free turn that we're getting super. Yo, this is going to do like 500,000 damage. 255k. <laughs> Close enough. Close enough. 
All right, so uh, we are definitely gonna pop a Princess Snake here. After this, after this stage, it should be smooth sailing from here because um, the the we have so many physical type units, right? That we should take care of the MUI, no problem. But I'm gonna be extra cautious for this specific stage. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm gonna put Vegeta in the beginning so that we can super with the Goku and get more defense. Um, there's only two attacks in the first slot, so if both of those are not supers, then we're good to go. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And Namek Goku should take no damage now. Like, he has such high defense that it should not even be an issue. Yeah, okay. Even if he supers us, I, I'm guessing under 50k, honestly. Like, I'm not concerned at all for this guy anymore. Okay. About to stay hydrated, guys. Drink some water. Um, if you're watching this video right now, it's been a long video, so make sure you get some water too. Stay hydrated. Very, very important. And uh, we should almost be done here with the STR Goku. He is definitely the most like concerning stage for this team. Um, or for the you know, just just for the type disadvantage, really. That's the only reason. All right. So what I'm gonna do is. Um, should I like- oh, you know what? Let's pop this active skill first. Let's see what he can do here. I should have turned up the sound again. Y'all keep forgetting to turn up the sound for active skills. I know you guys love hearing those. I mean, I do at least. I personally do. At 1.2 mil. Not too shabby. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, mm -hmm. What shall we do? Let's go with that. No, that's- that's- Here's the thing, I want the Broly to get um, Fierce Battle, um, but I'm also not very... I don't trust the Vegeta. You know what, let's actually... let's go with the Ghost Usher. Why not? We brought the Ghost Ushers, I don't think we're going to use both of them for the MUI Goku at the end, so let's just use it now, so that we can hopefully finish off uh, the STR Goku in this, in this turn. All right, 1.5 mil from Vegeta. Give me a crit. Come on, give me a crit. Crit! Yes! Beautiful. All right, and a second crit. Okay, with the additional. Perfect. All right, Broly's now at 1.7 million. And we're getting a crit with him too. 1.77 million. Absolute beast, dude. Okay. <laughs> we didn't even need the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, man. Oh, that is awesome. That is so, so nice. Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, I don't think it really matters who we put where. Like, I, I really don't think it... I mean, to be extra safe, you know what? Since we're already using items, it doesn't really matter how many items we use, I think. So I'ma just uh, pull, use the Icarus to be super, super cautious. And this is gonna be smooth sailing, guys. From here on out, I don't expect any problems. I really don't. I haven't checked the Broly's defense in a second, so next time he comes back, definitely gonna check that. Should be around 120 maybe, 130k. And since we're going against type advantage here, or type disadvantage, I guess. Um, but, but which one makes more sense? We have type advantage, he has type disadvantage. So are we going against type disadvantage or going against type advantage? And let's say we're going against type advantage. And uh, even with like 120,000 or so, I don't think he's gonna hit us for that that much damage if we get supered. Uh, it's still gonna hurt. It's still gonna be like probably 100k, but not anywhere near like enough to kill us. Wait, what, 12 dead? Okay. <laughs> yeah, we should be fine. We should be fine. So why don't we? Oh, so Broly's defense now is 137,000, and we're gonna get this guy to attack first. And then Broly can super too, and we also get the SSBE to super as well. And he's the only one on this rotation that really concerns me, because he doesn't... Oh, okay. I mean, I'm a little bit concerned here too, because his defense is not is like probably the second lowest on the team right now. <laughs> 71k, okay. What was I even concerned for? What was I even worried about? Okay. That's fine. We're good. We're good. Yo, watch Broly just absolutely wreck 
But before that, okay, let's watch this guy wreck the <laughs> wreck the Goku. But watch Broly absolutely wreck Kakarot, get his revenge on Kakarot, or apparently just crying beside him as a baby. All right, 1.8 million. Yo, I've always thought that was so dumb, man. The whole like Broly hating Goku just because he cried beside him as a baby, like. It just didn't make a lot of sense to me, but that's fine. That's fine. Alright, we got three attacks, two supers, and an additional that also was a crit. Definitely put a good dent into uh, Goku here. And I'm thinking next turn we come back with the Broly. It's gonna be game over. It's gonna be GG from there. Alright. Alright. 386 damage. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, definitely gonna put Super Saiyan 4 at the end, and yeah, I'm not using any more items. I don't think we have to use any more items for the rest of the run, unless no, I don't. I don't see any situation where it's necessary. <laughs> I really don't. So, I mean, before I have to retract my statement again, let me just shut up for a second. Let's see how much this does. 84k with no items. Yeah, we're good. We're, we're, we're just fine. We're good to go. We're good to go. So, guys, um, I know the showcase isn't over yet. I know the run is not over yet, but I think at this point, you have seen a good amount from the Broly, and he just absolutely terrorizes the legendary Goku event, guys. And I think that is a very accurate word for Broly, but also a very accurate way to describe what's been going on in this run. Um, Broly is the perfect unit for the legendary Goku event, the EZA physical Broly that is. And uh, don't bring the other Broly. I mean, the other Broly's okay, but he's he's just not tanky enough, I think, to actually um, be, you know, to, to make you feel safe on this event. He's, he's still, it's, he still could probably be fine on the team. It's just, I think this Broly is definitely a better choice to bring over the other Broly. Um, you can actually bring both on the same team, so I guess that's an option. But yeah, this Broly is definitely better for the legendary Goku event. And his defense is now at 148,000. His attack is about to be uh, pretty nuts, I think. Um, you know what? I'm going to put this guy at the end. And put Broly at the very beginning. Because we are about to... Hmm. Okay, this is interesting. So... We're not going to be able to give enough key to Broly to get a token attack off. So if we do get a token attack, is it going to go to someone else? Actually, we probably aren't even going to get a token attack. There we go. Okay, we're not getting a token attack off. That's fine. That's fine. That's actually what I wanted because I was scared it was going to give the token attack to someone else, which is not ideal. All right, 1.87 million. I don't think we're going to reach... Oh, we might actually reach 2 million attack here. Oh no, okay. Additional super. <sighs> no third super. Can we... Wow, he's dodging everything. This could be good. This could be good. Because I want I want to actually survive for one more turn. To eventually get over 2 million per super. Uh, yo, yo, you like Goku, just dodge more, man. Just keep dodging, keep dodging. It's okay. This could put a dent in us. This could definitely put a dent in us. Oh, it's, okay, never mind. 68k. Um, who should I token attack with so that we can do the least damage? I think. Um, hmm. Yeah, this guy would make the most sense, but I actually don't want to put him in the front because I'm actually afraid we're gonna die. So I'm gonna use the token attack for Namek Goku and just hope that we don't kill him. We could kill him. If we do, if you don't get to attack again with the Broly, it's fine. You guys have seen enough. Uh, it's just gonna be more of the same. Just basically Broly completely annihilating UI Goku. So this could be it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, damn, I missed one. I should have missed all of them on purpose. Why did I do that? I should have missed all of them on purpose to do the least damage. That's how it works, right? I think the more nodes you do, the more damage you do with the Zokan attack. I think. Am I wrong on that one? That that might be something I'm wrong, wrong about, so don't necessarily take my word for it. Okay, he's still alive. He's still alive. 
Uh, dodge this, please. Ah, dodge it, man, dude. Why, why don't you dodge when I want you to dodge? Like, he always dodge when I don't want you to dodge, and then he does. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is the run, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had as much fun as I did using this Broly because he is absolutely monstrous. Even without any dupes, um, he still gets two guaranteed supers per turn, right? And he still gets five um, additional in his free dupe system. So even if you have no dupes, he still has the potential to do three supers per turn. And uh, as you guys can see, at the end of this event, he was getting up to almost two million attack per super, up to three supers per turn. And he is just a monster, man. He absolutely destroys the Legendary Goku event. Same thing would be happening if we did like the Infinite Dragon Ball history as well, since they're similar concepts, right? So uh, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed today's showcase. Hope you enjoyed today's run. Physical Broly, absolutely amazing. Now he was so bad before the Awakening, but now he's amazing. So that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you're going to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. That's all I got to say. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.